Y'all yeah, ready? Three. What's going on, King Real TV? We got our first interview. You said iPhone charger? Uh, uh, what's his name? I ain't got no Type C no more. She chewed that motherfucker up. She chewed up. Y'all already know we got my boy. Uh, what up with It's on me now? Mm mm. Oh, what I was supposed to say, bro? Yeah, dang. I don't know what I was supposed to say. Man, that was me, bro. Lakuda, and we got the wife. You can't see the wife. She we waiting on the wife to put her face right here. I'm great. <laughs> and then we got the interviewee. Introduce me. What, what's some of my achievements? <laughs> Number one asshole. And we got. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I think that's the wrong Trey G. Well, well, you didn't say mine. They posted. Damn. Then we got. Kid that did. The kid that did. Yeah, man. Always prevail. Where you from? The murder zone, man. The murder zone. What's that? Nah, I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois, to be exact. What part of East St. Louis? Oh, the Gumpers. You know what I'm saying? Check the birth certificate, man. It's documented. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that chick walk? <laughs> he talking about check the birth certificate. It's documented. Oh. No bullshit. If I pull my birth certificate, it's going to say the gumpers on it. Uh, uh, how, how was your life growing up? It was... Just tell it from your point of view. It was... It was fun. Really? It was fun. I was I was quiet. I'm still quiet now. You know, I'm just older. You know, going on and shit, learning some shit. But back then, like you knew me younger, I was a real quiet guy. Yeah, real quiet guy. Stayed to myself. But I was always when they see me, they be like, "Oh, there go bro right in." I was always valid. It was always. But yeah, it was fun. It was always outside. Having bitches. Yeah. So, so when my man's back there, he got to shout my man's out. Back there behind me. Oh, go out there the day one time. How y'all link up? He said, do you? <laughs> basically shit. Huh? I said, basically shit. Yeah. Damn. We boy since fucking, uh... Head start shit. Yeah. Wow, we, we got time. Yeah, day one shit since the teeny weeny. You feel Everybody know you're a rapper, so what was your first song? My first song I recorded or I wrote? Yeah, your first song that you recorded, wrote, whatever. I wrote my first song to... Uh, uh, Lil Wayne single beat in 2015. The beat was like six minutes long. I wrote that's, that's my first song I ever wrote, but I first recorded. But I first recorded in 2020 during the pandemic, March of 2020. My first song I recorded was uh, what is it called? Amazing, featuring Big Twix. On the G1.5 album on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. But yeah, that was my first song I ever recorded. And I showed everybody, they, damn, that shit hard. That shit hard. I might as well have kept going. 
I had when I recorded my first song, I had over two hundred songs wrote. <clears throat> <laughs> what you think about like the local rap scene in the city? Um, to be honest, I don't like it. Why? I don't listen to nobody. They all sound the same. And I ain't saying this just because like they're my niggas, but I feel like my niggas the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, I and then I ain't saying everybody, everybody trash. You know, I fuck with some niggas. Shout them out. Who, 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 you, who you mess with? But like majority, it's either they try to rap and like other niggas or that shit just ain't ain't it, you know? But motherfuckers probably be saying the same shit about me though. <laughs> <laughs> so it is what it is. So like what's your hobbies and stuff like that? Like, what what does a, a normal day of Trey G consist of? <laughs> we gonna see what's to that. But uh, normal say say uh, a Monday morning, I wake up, wake up like six seven, got to be at the gig at eight. Wake up, shower, tea. Nah, like an off day. Off day. Mm, shit. That's even different now because now I be sleep during my up, but shit like if regular day, wake up, nigga roll up. That's the first thing, no cap. Roll that dope. I probably smoke then. If I roll, I'ma smoke, and then I'ma get the day started. Then I'ma shower, brush my teeth, eat, you know. But I'm smoking before anything, going through the motions. Probably pull up on the guys, you know, whatever nigga got going on that day. How much you smoke? I smoke a lot. I start smoking. I started when I was 13, though. I'm 22 now. Yeah, so when the last time you smoked? Last night. <laughs> yeah, I thought you wake up and smoke every day, though. No, nah, I ain't had it but right here when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked the sack up last night. Because when I got off yesterday, I was asleep. The whole whole day I got off and I woke up like at 6, 7 p.m. Yeah. And I smoked when I woke up. So what you think need to change about like the music scene in the city for everybody to, to go up, start getting noticed? Uh, I don't, for me personally, I don't care about collabing, but if, you know, everybody needs to come together, they come together and collab, that's cool. Uh, more outlets for different types and genres of music. See, like me, for example, I don't only make rap music. I'm versatile. I can make R&B, dance hall, techno. I sing. You sing? Yeah. Just a just an outlet for underground. Cause I like underground local. Let me rephrase that. The underground oh. local scene is crazy. It's it's the you know what I'm saying. You yeah. I'm so you think you can do a freestyle? He said I might freestyle, but the style ain't free. Alright, alright, so just nah, give me like I don't even want to do that. Be... But you can't pick the beat. I got to pick the beat. Look away. <laughs> no, look away. I'm going to cut my eyes. I can't see. Guap, you good back there? Yeah, I'm all right. Hold on. Let's see. At Domino's, you can get two medium two topping pizzas for six ninety nine here. Or lava cakes, bread bites, and more. Uh, get the ads out the way, 
Without looking at TV, drop a freestyle right now. <laughs> I'm the fucking man, you don't get it, do you? Pull up on your block and you know that we gon' sack it to you. You know we gon' pull out them glitches, bitch. Tell you to the morgue, not the fucking spitter. Niggas already know that I ride with hitters. It's a incidental, got your bitch up in the intercontinental. Suck your dick up in the rental. You know what she doing so good, I fucking up her dinner. Hey, that's the M-O-T-T-O. -T -T Skeet on the face, nut in her throat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her butt, Tunchi. I'm rocking Gucci. Your bitches are lonely. She doing it sloppy and loosey. I'm in it. My hog up a loogie. I'm in a trap house. Wipe me down, Boosie. Wipe me down, Boosie. Wipe me down. I'm in the basement like I'm Big Tigger. Playing with the revolvers and sticks in the rental. Hey. You know my shit be it because it's meant for the trigger. Keep on talking, we gon' put you in the hey, we ain't getting so <laughs> Pull out the bands on the fuck, nigga. Make them dance. Pull out the bands for a hole in the leave it in the stands. Leave it in the stands. She gon' pull out her pants. She gon' pull out her pants. Uh, yes, she she gon' pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> but he said this shit ass. He put niggas on the spot. It was pretty sad. What's your relationship stand? I know everybody want to know. Because there's a lot of trolling shit be going on. <laughs> <laughs> he says there's a lot of trolling shit be going on. What kind of troll shit? A lot of troll shit I be seeing on the book. And I'm taking, man. You taking? Yeah. By who? Can, it's my bit. So if I had my boy call her right now, you think she'd still <laughs> be <fuck>? on? <laughs> You think she'll still be yours if I have my boy call her? Who is your boy? <laughs> he meant to steal your girl in the back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he meant to steal your girl. <laughs> how, how long y'all been together? Not this. About a year. He's supposed to do our group. That's four <laughs> months taking off. About a year. Well, you think she's the one? Yeah. <laughs> what makes you feel like that? Mm -hmm. It gotta be something. We here for the music and shit. Hold the dog. Like the new dog. You like dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feel about that one? That's a whole journey. I said, how you feel about that one? Yeah, well, Rob 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 yeah. On me, I call it a Journey B. Jones. <laughs> Other than MC and shit, I seen over there playing and shit already turned. Put in the camera. Oh, they can see. What you like about her? She on 10. What fuck with she a new she on edition? Ten. She a new edition. What's she on ten about? On point. How old is she, babe? Three months. Oh, three months. Well, her birthday was September ninth. And she pretty. Well, now a new edition, man. Hold it down. You think you can hold Duke like that if I brought him in here? Nah, hell no. Nah, he gonna get to doing too much. For real, he really is. This the only dog we got here, though. She liked her. Yeah. And you tell it, though. What was your first tattoo? Oh, he going for that shit. <laughs> she scratched my beard and shit. My first tattoo was a yellow tattoo. Show Man, it, I don't even know what show it, it right now. Hmm? Sure. If you know me, you know. Hold nah, on. I'm gonna show up. We all got our first test together. Yeah, I'm glad you were with us, didn't you? What do you mean now? Cause I'm, it probably don't mean the same thing it did ten years ago. You only did once, man. 
Gotta stand on that shit. Live your life to the fullest, man. Don't let nobody tell you shit, man. You only live once. That's a real motto. Man. Live by that shit. Any new rappers that's finna come up but don't know how to start, what advice would you give them? Uh, fuck what everybody got to say about your shit, bro. Just stay down. You good. Just, just do your own shit because you might start a goddamn new way. I feel like I started a way. I started a way for sure. What way do you think you started? The Detroit Beats in East St. Louis. Could you acapella freestyle right now in 10 seconds? Mm -hmm. Start now. Niggas nod outside, they rapping. Give him a hat with a snap to be capping. Put him in movies because niggas be acting. Light on the beam and it put you in action. Sing to your bitch like Mike Jackson. Speed on the J's, they won't catch me in traffic. All Smoking right. exotic. Come on, man. It smell like cat piss. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we. But, man. This is my first time doing this. You know, somebody had texted me and told me to do this. For the interview? Like this. They seen me uh, reacting to that, to everybody's shit. <laughs> and then they was like, you doing sit down interviews? I'm like, no. Uh, I was like, no. I'm roll this shit up. Mm -hmm. How far you got to go? Sorry. You need to be leaving like now then. Nah, I need like that 310, 315. I'm going like right there by the uh leap by the side of the right there. For real, for real. Um. Alright, so it's gonna be it's gonna be over fast because yeah. this is the first one. I ain't really come too prepared. So this shit we be doing ain't right. They get everybody on this court. My producer Do you got any with... closing word? Uh You follow me. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. At Drop Top Glizz. Actually did the motivational mornings, man. But I'm gonna keep from that. I'm gonna keep that word to come over here with it. Stay down, man. Do your own shit. Be a stand-up guy. Don't be flaw out here. Be real with everybody that's real with you. Don't go trying to backdoor your friends and all that shit. Stay down, get some money, stay out the way. For real. That's all I can tell you. That's what I be doing. You got anything you want to promote? Let me see what it got me. Um, I had an album. I'm going to come out next year. You know what I'm saying? Name. Not, not. The cover art ready, but the name not established. You know what I'm saying? Six out of 20 songs is complete, though. You know what I'm saying? Look, and then when you drop music, you got to drop a lot. You know what I'm saying? Last year, I dropped three solo projects. And they held me down real good. Huh? And they all did good. So drop the music. I see a lot of seven song EPs and shit. That's cool because I did that one time. That's like good when you starting out. Yeah. But like as it go on, nigga only be six songs, five songs. I'm like, why? My first project was 25 songs long. Do you think you got your all in all 25 of them? Yeah. That was the, the best songs I had at the moment. At the moment, anyway, I done made some hard and shit in it. Yeah. But yeah. Album next year. It's gonna, it ain't no rap. It's gonna be rap. It's really alternative. And R&B. So be on the lookout. I don't, I don't know no R&B artists. It ain't no R&B artists out there. I'm gonna say it. It's not nothing around here. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't need no R and B artist. I'm just gonna put my foot in it to show that I can do that shit. Because I'm really that and I study that shit and I know what's going on. R and B G? R and B G. I'd probably be a song name on that hoe, you never know. I'ma show them how to really talk to the ladies and shit, man. I don't, I don't know how to do it, man. I gotta come on that bitch. 
So yeah, man. RBG here. Go uh, stream all his music on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify. At Trey G. YouTube. You know what I'm saying? The link gonna be in the description. You finna get out my shit though.